Hi guys, this is Nin and today I want to share with you a tutorial on how to make these Prima Lucerne Fairy Bell flowers. So that's the packaging here. I'm trying to get it to focus. There you go. And these are the flowers. So they look something like that. And I've got some little stamens in the middle and some glitter and glass glitter or diamond dust, whatever they used on it. So I'm not sure if you can see it or not. We'll try a darker colour. There you go. As yes, you can see, all those little bits of rocks. Anyways, so I'm going to show you how to make it. So, I've got four punches. So, I'm this particular flower. So, I'm going to use the two medium sizes. You can also use a die, which I have the CC Cutter Flonx flower die. But in my case, I'm not going to use a die because I'm going to make quite a bit of these flowers. So, that's going to take me forever to do. You need a little punch, a hole punch. So I've got this really tiny one. This is probably the smallest one you can find. So you can use that one. You need some tweezers, um, some glitter paint, glue, or whatever stickles. But in my case, because I'm making a bit, I'm going to use this glitter paint. So here we go. So what we, you will need is scrap paper so you can use anything you want. So I'm just going to punch out a couple of these. And you're going to use a smaller punch for the bottom part as you can see here. I'm just going to punch a couple of these, a couple of these two. Okay, so what you want to do now is go ahead and get the bigger flowers, the bigger petals, like that. Get your little punch. Using that little tip there, I use it as a guide to find the middle of my flower. So not sure if you can see it but that's just about the middle of it I'm just going to go ahead and punch so what you want to do from now is take your tweezers and twist the edges so I'm going to twist all five petals And as you can see with the Primo ones, they've got that twisted look as well, so that's what I'm trying to replicate. I'm trying to focus it, it's not focusing. So anyways, we're going to go ahead, you can use any stamens you want, but because Primo ones are really thin, I don't have any of those. I've got these ones. got plain ones, I mean these are the pearl ones. Plain ones. You can use these ones if you want. These are from Wild Orchid Cross. And colour ones if you want as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and use plain pearl ones. So I'm just going to use three. So I'm just going to three of these and, and I'm going to double them up. And insert them in the hole. So I'm just going to pierce it, make it a little bit bigger so that it all fits in at once. So I'm just going to try to twist that in. And pull. So there you go, there you have it. So I'll do another one while I'm here. 
three of these. So there we have it. So now what you want to do is cut off the bottom of the stamens. So you just leave enough room for your glue. So I'm just gonna snip it off. So once you cut it off, you can find that you can manipulate your stamens wherever you want them. So I'm just gonna push them down like this. So that's how my stamens gonna look. Or if you don't like that look, you can push it to whatever way you want to look. So what you want to do now is just push them and squish them so they can attach to the glue so I'm just going to add some glue there so I'm using hot glue you can use whatever glue you want but I find this is the quickest way then I'm just going to grab the um, smaller one and put it over the top so that's it so what you want to do now is go in with some glitter glue, your stickles or whatever. In my case I'm using this acrylic crystal glitter paint. So I'm just going to go ahead and colour all five petals. If you're using stickles you can go ahead and dip that into the glitter but I'm not going to do that because this is a paint. So that's one. I'm going to go ahead and take that one. Oops. So that's another one. Hopefully you can see the glitter on there. So I'll leave that aside to dry. So what I do next is um, I don't have any diamond dust but I've got some German glass glitter and they come in all different types of grit. So I'm using the coarse one so that it looks like little rocks like the Prima ones like that. So anyways I'm going to go ahead. I've got some plexi glue so I always recommend I was recommended this by one of the craft stores because it's a very sticky glue and will pick up glitter really well. So I'm going to go ahead and here's some I prepped earlier. So I'm going to go ahead and glue the little corners. Get my tweezers. You're not, you don't want glue all over your hands and just put that in, tap off any excess, excess. So that's that. So repeat the process. So there you go. So here's a few I prepped earlier, which is sitting in the tray. So if you want to compare them, let's grab a couple. And they pretty much look the same as the Prima ones. So these are my one, and these are the Prima ones.
So anyway, so this is a really good way to use all your scraps and you can use, I don't know, all your scraps, whatever pattern paper, you coordinate it with your projects. They're really easy, they don't take very long to make and I hope you enjoy them and thanks for watching. See ya.